Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup video for Halloween because Halloween is tomorrow and this is probably going to be the fastest I edit and post a video because I want to have this up on Halloween, which is tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be following the um, James Charles Pennywise look. He did this like three years ago, but like I was looking at Halloween um, like makeup ideas and a lot of them you need contacts or like really like hard things to find. And because I have his palette, hopefully he uses most of this stuff from his palette. Um, so I don't have to struggle not having it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get straight into this video. I hope this works. But I'm also really excited because I've been like getting more into makeup recently. Because I've been wanting to improve my makeup skills. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into this video. Okay, so the first thing he did was get some really light foundation so it's not white but it's very makes them look very pale okay guys first thing we don't have first he's just putting foundation all over his face should i take this off it's fine okay so first i'm going to in the mirror i'm gonna get this mirror this video is gonna be long i apologize and with my hair up oh my gosh i like i went to gym for the like the second time since like the gym closed because of corona and the quarantine and stuff so our gym opened really late for reasons i won't discuss because it's so complicated um so yeah i got back into the gym this was the second day and um <laughs> my coach on the second day wow it's really intense about um conditioning i remember you guys kind of like me and I can barely move my arms now. Like this is it's painful. But yeah, we're gonna get stronger. So that's all that matters, right? Moving your arms is overrated, anyways. So I'm just gonna. I'm no makeup guru. Don't know what I'm doing, but I just like to um, put this on before. I feel like it does something. This is just Clean and Clear 2.5% Benzol Peroxide Gel Acne Targeting Treatment. I just put this on before just because i feel like it makes me break out less i have absolutely no idea if it actually works though but i do anyways so we're gonna start off i have grabbed just tomorrow i have this huge ass pimple here and i don't know if the makeup is ready right now it's fine it's fine we will just cover it up with makeup right how many far you can't so we're gonna start off with foundation. I'm just gonna do like the light color, which is this. This is somewhat light. This is more of like white, but it's okay. I washed my beauty blender for the first time in a long time. I don't wash it all the time. Not bad. I don't wash your beauty blender very often because I don't. This is like. I'm really tempted to like mix this with like white paint. It's okay. Hmm? Move it too white. So I'm just gonna put this all over. Yeah, it actually really does match my skin color. It's okay. We'll put the white um the white eyeshadow on top of this before adding like powder foundation so that the white will hopefully stick. I do look noticeably paler on camera, but honestly, in the mirror, I can't really tell. So right now, I'm adding the white eyeshadow from his palette. But to be totally honest with you, it's really not making a difference. I don't think at least. I can't see a visible difference. Okay. We're gonna stick with this. It's okay. He said it's a glam Pennywise makeup tutorial. So it's less spooky and more glam. It's fine. My face is white enough. Okay, we're gonna continue. Okay, now he's contouring. So, contouring is new for me, guys. So, we're just gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna use the James Charles one. This could be totally wrong. Okay, just don't get me. Don't come for me. Maybe I'll mix them. So this is really intense though. Like you gotta be really careful. I almost did it from there. Oh, 
palette. I'm gonna show really intensely on this camera. And then maybe it's not that intense, I promise. Maybe it is, I just can't see it. Ooh, did you see that? <laughs> Maybe blend that in just a little bit. No one saw that. Whatever, no one cares, right? Alrighty, so um, I have done my brows and I also found a little bit of white powder um, from MAC that I put a little bit more on my face. So you can tell it's more white. Um, so now I am about to do the eyeshadow. Apparently it's black. He is not even using his palette to do this. What is going on? So he's going around his eye. Like the thing where you go like this and you go like around. And go out the side. So he, he went really dark. And then is like blending it out and then adding black in so and start on the inside oh i'm so scared i'm gonna go to almost right in the middle how high do you go like above your eyes so it's like That looks really, really incredible. Okay. I'm done both the eyes. And now I am moving on to the eyeliner. So I'm going to grab the eyeliner. Do not judge. Honestly, I'm kind of proud of these. So why is this eyeliner so liquidy? Like I feel like I'm going to smudge it. The eyeliner slowly and slowly got a lot bigger because I did it too big on this side, so I had to even this side out. But it's okay. So the eyeliner is looking like. Honestly, I'm actually really shocked. I never do eyeliner, but my eyeliner never turns out too bad. Okay, next step. The lips are gonna connect up through the eye and upwards onto the forehead. Okay. So next, he's doing little devil thingies. So we're gonna do that here. And here. Okay, and then it's like a little curved thing, so. Oh my god, this is so crazy. I feel like no matter how much of this black I put, like it's not dark enough. Like James's eyeshadow was so dark, I don't even understand. So now he's blending it outside. Okay guys, this is what it's looking like right now. Do not mind my parents. My mom just came home from work, so they like to talk a lot. Um, but at the moment, I'm pretty much almost fully done this eye. You know, I'm just gonna do the other side real quick and I'll be back with you in a second. This is what we're looking at so far. And um, now he is doing, he did his nose already. So I think this is more of this like, as long as it's circular and it's darker when you go from the inside, you should be fine. So I think he outlined it in black. And then I'll just conceal anything that's not like in the black. Cause honestly, concealer is really amazing when doing something like this like that is something i've learned today wow the nose actually really adds to the look surprised there wow the nose actually doesn't look that bad and then in and then out like that in is that symmetrical? That's not too bad. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now. Okay, I'm gonna go get lipstick and we are done. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Okay guys, 
I think honestly the look is done. Alrighty guys, last minute decision. I also decided to put lashes on. So um, we're gonna quickly do this. I can get it open. I've put these lashes on twice before and actually I'm not like terrible at getting them on. So hopefully I am I am incredibly smart. Like really, really smart. One eye on, one more eye to go. Guys, I got the lashes on. Honestly, I feel like this looks so much more complete. I love it. This is the finished product. I'm actually really, really impressed with um, how this turned out. And I kind of really want to do this again tomorrow for Halloween. Um, probably won't happen because this took like almost two hours. But I'm so proud of myself and I think it looks super cute. Um, especially if you look at it from afar. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.